Hello guys, welcome back to one of my newest videos. Right here I have a V8 engine that I designed and printed for a school project. As you can see, um, it needs a little bit of cleanup, but as of this video, um, it doesn't matter. Um, right here I have the back of the engine which holds everything inside of the engine block together so nothing can come out. And the screws are screwed in in an angle and I'll explain why later. This project was one of the most difficult projects that I have done so far because the the engine shaft has broken on me four times and I had to print them five times to get the perfect one. Um, that is because I printed uh, the shaft at 15% infill instead of 90% infill which is completely solid according to my Da Vinci. And I also had a problem with the piston shaft. The shaft inside the piston head or the house of piston head together. That also broke off while I was trying to clean it. So I'm using this um, heavy duty copper wire to act as the little piston shaft. As you can see if I spin the engine shaft around the, the pistons they move accordingly to the direction of which the pistons are or are supposed to move. The engine block took roughly about six hours to print. Um, the reason why everything is already installed in the engine block is because um, it, it took a long time to get the pistons attached to the shaft. As promised, if you see, if you look very closely, you can see these um, columns which are the ones that hold the screws in place and they're at an angle so that's the reason why the screw is going at an angle and right now I'm gonna screw one screw in and then I'm gonna skip to the final stage so you guys can see so this is what it looks like all put together um, the engine looks pretty nice, everything looks like it fits, as it should, um, everything moves accordingly, and there's nothing stuck as of I can tell, everything is smooth. So I want to apologize that this video was so long, but everything good is worth waiting for. But at the end of this video, I'll be attaching a drill to the engine so you can see the pistons moving continuously. Again, I want to thank you guys all for watching. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Leave a like, and I'll see you guys all next time.